In a recent development, a prominent Hollywood executive has publicly criticized Meghan Markle, predicting a dire future for her professional endeavors. Jeremy Zimmer, the chief executive of United Talent Agency, renowned for guiding the careers of stars like Benedict Cumberbatch and Damian Lewis, expressed his scathing opinion about the abilities of the former American actress. This comes after streaming giant Spotify terminated its £18 million deal with Meghan and Prince Harry following just one podcast series. Speaking at the 2023 Conlon Advertising Festival, Zimmer, whose agency increasingly focuses on audio content, voiced his lack of surprise regarding Spotify's decision to part ways with the couple. He candidly stated, It turns out that Meghan Markle wasn't a great audio talent or necessarily talented in any other aspect. Zimmer continued, Just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something, emphasizing that Meghan's fame stemmed more from her marriage than her personal achievements. He added, Just because you marry a prince doesn't make you a queen in the making or a successful producer who can expect a list of lucrative roles. Zimmer's remarks further conveyed his belief that Meghan possesses little talent, and her fame primarily rests on her marital connection rather than her own accomplishments. He confidently asserted, Meghan will never get a job in Hollywood again, she'd be lucky to do commercials, if at all. The Hollywood executive's willingness to make such a statement was applauded by many not necessarily because they agreed with his assessment of her talent, but because someone finally dared to challenge Meghan's self-perceived greatness. This incident marks a significant shift in the industry, as the tide has turned against remaining silent on the topic, fearing cancellation. Previously, Hollywood refrained from touching such subjects, but now people are unafraid to speak the truth. Notably, when Meghan and Harry announced their exit from the royal family, dubbed, Megzi, Meghan expressed her intention to return to acting in Hollywood, exclusively working with the best producers and directors. However, her claims were met with skepticism, as some industry insiders allegedly believe she reached out to prominent figures like Ava DuVernay and Brad Pitt's company, but wreck. Despite playing supporting roles in a cable legal procedural, Meghan's acting career peaked during that period. However, her inflated sense of importance and unrealistic expectations are evident. It is refreshing to see influential figures openly calling out the insulting nature of the deals bestowed upon the couple initially. In terms of preserving their public image, it would have been wiser for Harry and Meghan to focus primarily on the charitable endeavors instead of embarking on commercial ventures. By involving themselves in endeavors that seemed profit-driven and lacking substantial work, they displayed the desire to have it all, which didn't resonate well with the public. Jeremy Zimmer, the co-founder of Uta in 1991, boasts a roster of major stars, including Mariah Carey, Brian Cranston, DJ Khaled, Chelsea Handler, Kevin Hart, Angelina Jolie, Susan Sarandon, Harrison Ford, and many others. These recent comments from the entertainment industry executive followed reports that Spotify severed ties with Meghan and Harry due to underwhelming performance metrics.